I'm Alan Taylor. My buddy Scott Duffy and I are in search of the best burger in America. Each month we visit a new city to try some of the top restaurants, pubs, and brew houses while sitting down for a candid conversation with some of the top entrepreneurs, athletes, entertainers, and celebrities. I don't know about you, but I love talking business over a burger. Welcome to Business and Burgers. Today we're back at the Westgate Park City Resort and Spa at Draft Sports Bar and Grill. We're here to try another one of the best burgers in the state of Utah. Joining us is Scott Schwab, the co-founder and president of Bottega, an online technical school that gives the next generation of coders the skills they need to succeed in the workplace. Scott's personal struggle with chronic illness gave him the drive he needed to go from a door-to-door -door salesman to entrepreneur in only a few years. He not only succeeded in building a successful company, but he's also made it his mission to change the face of education as we know it. And if anyone can do it, Scott can. What's up, guys? Hey. How are you? <laughs> Good to see you, Scott. Good to see you, man. Good to see Scott you. Allen, Allen Scott. So tell us about Scott. Um, we're in education. Our goal is to disrupt the space of education by making it available to everybody. So how do you disrupt something that people are so passionate about yeah. without pissing people off? Well, you're going to piss people off. I'm that's just going to be how it is because yeah. you come from two different schools of thought one being like the traditional side of it has to be this way there has to be this many hours in the seats and then you got more trade based or vocational based which is all about learning the trade and understanding what it is to get into industry so we come from both approaches we are accredited but we also know that to hire somebody, they've got to have specific skills to be able to work in industry. In the last 100 years, you look at our classroom and you're going to see pretty much the same thing. You got seats, you got a teacher, you've got a whiteboard now, whereas you had a chalkboard before. But really, the interaction hasn't really changed much. And we think that we can disrupt that from a standpoint of making it blended. So you have time that you're going to collaborate with your peers and also with your professor or with your teacher. But then also go home and learn the things that light your fire. Yeah. Because there's things that will allow you to be able to expand your knowledge on the core subject when you're interested in it. Yeah. So. Well, I'll tell you, the thing that really excites me these days is coding. But that's really what you have built an entire curriculum and school around. So if I want to learn how to code, I can go online um, to Bottega and I can take a 12 week course Correct. and then those courses build on top of each other. Correct. So is every course that you offer 12 weeks? Uh, no, great question. Thanks for asking that. Modules are a shorter segment to where you can learn them in a couple of weeks, even a couple of days. And then through that stackable set of the path towards a full stack software accreditation, you're able to then take those and s put them into snippets. So you may have an hour one night and you can learn one module that would then stack up to something more uh, inclusive. So let's talk about kind of the genesis of this journey. My parents really wanted me to go to college. I see the value of college and I uh, wanted to go as well, but when you're getting into it and really not finding your fit, mm. I, get, I did business management. It was frustrating at times to have to sit in a classroom and learn concepts that I felt I already knew or felt as though I could learn actually getting out there and doing something. And so I uh, exited college, saw a challenge in the market where I was like, education can be uh, adjusted and disrupted for those that may not have the same experience that a person who tests well does. Right. And so I started doing door-to-door -door sales. What? Yeah. What were you selling door-to-door? -door? Uh, security systems. Wow. Yeah. And so that's what security. financed this? It did. Oh my God. It did. What motivated you? What was that kind of tipping point inside of your, your head, your heart, your soul that said, I've got to do this? You know, for me, it, it goes back to even when I was a teenager. Um, I came down with a disease when I was 15 called Guillain-Barre, and it, it paralyzed me. What? What uh, is it? Yeah, it's an ascending paralysis. It eats away your myelin sheath, and then, which is your protective coating around your nervous system. And when your nerves are exposed, they die. And so wow. at the age of 15, I was told by everybody that I needed to start adjusting my life to live differently. Wow. And I was like, no way, I'm, mm. I'm not going to live differently. And so I've taken on every challenge that I've wanted to take on and hit it head on. When you were first told that you could be paralyzed, yeah. most people, when, when something 
really tough happens in life, whether they're told they could be paralyzed, whether um, their, their business is going sideways, whatever, they freeze, yeah. right? Or they focus on their fear, yeah. right? Thing they fear most. What did you do in that moment to help keep you moving forward? Yeah, great question. I, I think one thing I would attribute is just the fact of having good people around me, good mentors. Um, I had great family, people who wouldn't allow my uh, victim-minded thinking but I thought, well, nothing's worse than losing your ability to walk. Perspective. Yeah, it was great perspective for me at a young age that helped me grow up pretty quick so that by the time that I was in my 20s, I was really poised to go out and make a difference. You know, one of our, our good friends, Dave Meltzer, you know, he always says that the way to change your life is to take 90 days and just do one thing. In the morning and night, when you wake up and you go to sleep, say two words, thank you when things are tough, it's really easy to focus on everything that we don't have. Yeah. But saying thank you on a regular basis forces you to focus on the things that you do have. When are you gonna start with me? Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> what, are we to be thankful for you or start thinking? Talk about you. being thankful. <laughs> wow, Pardon Nicole. my interruption. Holy cow, yes. look at that. Wow. So this is the world famous garlic burger. All Angus Ooh. beef patty prepared medium, but the toppings are where it's really at. We have a house made garlic aioli, sauteed mushrooms, wow. and some smoked Nyman Ranch bacon. Wow. Thank you. Wow. Thank you so much, gentlemen. Enjoy. Let me know if I can get you anything else. Thank you so Thank much. You. Thank you. We'll be right back for these tasty burgers after a word from our sponsors. I'm Alan Taylor, this is Scott Duffy. We're Business and Burgers. We're on the road with our new Acer Swift One laptop. You know, Scott, these are great for students or business people on a budget. They are, they've got all the essentials, including Windows 10, and they're a great value. Throughout April and May, you can get your new Acer Swift One from CDW for just $289.99. That's over $100 in savings. The Acer Swift One with Windows 10 Pro and Microsoft Office is a super light, thin, powerful, and economical way to get the power and functionality that you need to run your business. Pick up one for yourself or get a few for your team today at CDW for just $289.99 each. This deal is only good throughout April and May, so don't wait. Get your new Acer Swift One today. So Scott, what was the biggest obstacle you encountered along the way? I think it's uh, surrounding myself with the right people. I think that there's a lot of people who want to be involved in entrepreneurship when really when it starts getting hard, they kind of disappear. Yeah. And earlier on I made some pretty uh, pivotal mistakes just because I wanted somebody who I was friends with or wanted somebody because we got along. And what I've learned is that actually it's better to have somebody who complements your skill set and not who you're gonna go to the golf course with. I think what we do in our organization is we allow people to manage themselves. We hire them because they've got great skills. They understand what they're doing. They don't need to be told what to do. They just need some parameters of how we make money or how we become a successful business. So you give them the vision yeah. and, then, and then they manage. And they go. Yeah. How do you ensure that each person remains an individual. So immersive learning allows us to be able to really dive deep into behavior and into what makes a person tick because how you learn is not going to be the same way that I learn. Exactly right? what I was thinking. Yeah. Yeah. So in the classroom I may be responding better to some of the uh, teaching mechanisms that we're giving to them, i.e. a teacher, a group project, but you may be better off learning on your own. And so we built our technology platform and our delivery model to be asynchronous right from the get-go. So you may be a self-paced learner and an online environment is going to be awesome for you. Whereas you may need that constant instruction and so we have a live remote class to where you can remote into a course and have the collaborative uh, learning aspect to it. Or if you're a person who needs to be driven and in person, that's going to be the best uh, bet for you. Well, come in and learn from a, a program that allows you to be able to be integrated with students, with learning, and then being able to tie in professionals from industry who can then speak to some of the challenges that you're having. You know, my, my hat's off to you. This could be the most difficult job in the entire world <laughs> that you have taken on. I don't right? know about that. And it took a special guy like you to take this on, I can tell you right now. Thank because, you. I mean, I look at myself and my family members, I have four children, and not one of them is the same. Not one of them wants to learn the same thing that the other one did the same way that the other one did. It's like you have more tools today to do this job than ever before. And so it could be that you have just finally hit the tipping point for true 
excellent education. Yeah. I, I take my hat off to you. Well, thank you. And I think you got to remove the barriers, right? Yeah. More and more people are wanting to consume information on their phones yeah. or on a tablet. Well, why doesn't that transition into a learning platform? And, and that's so cool because let's say I'm, I, I'm in a job um, and, and I, need to, I need to improve my skill set. I need to broaden my skill set. Absolutely. Right? Um, things are changing in, yeah. in my company. Or I want to go out as an entrepreneur and I want to start my own thing, my own business. Um, the flexibility that an online learning system gives to someone enables them yeah. to go home, to learn at their speed, to learn at their pace, yeah. to use whatever device it is. So it's a lot like you know, what we're doing with Microsoft and leveraging um, online tools, cloud-based tools, whether it's Office 365 or it's OneNote, in order and, and be able to be able to access even and Skype, get to, right? right? And Skype yeah. and get to the information when we need. It's the same thing with learning, right? Yeah. I mean, what do you see as the future of education? Yeah, uh, thank you. I I personally think that traditional learning is not working, like in a broad scope. You mean education? Education, education. yeah. 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 Um, traditional education, time in the seat, how we factor out whether somebody's going to learn based on testing, right. that's not working. And so we predict that learning is going to become more and more individualized, predictive. Uh, machine learning, AI is really paving the way for us to be able to better serve the learner. Yeah. And that's our goal, is to be able to meet you where you are. Mm. You know, not try to give you something that's for everybody else, but to say, hey, what does Scott need sure. specifically to learn? Here's what I'd like from you. Yeah. People that watch this show, they watch because they want to learn something, and we have something called food for thought. Yeah. I'm looking for your lessons. Where do we start? I would start with get outside of your comfort zone, because learning actually doesn't happen in your comfort zone because everything's all good. <laughs> In my mind, you've got to get outside of that and start training yourself, training your mind, training your body, because entrepreneurship life is hard. It's going to grind you and grind you, and if you're not mentally sound and you don't have a, a strong physical presence about yourself as far as your confidence and where you fit in to what your business is, you're going to have more trials than you need to have in entrepreneurship. Whereas if you have balance, you have success. That's how I would define success, is through balance. And there's trade-offs, and I haven't always been able to make the right decision, but through learning, I now have a schedule. I'm not trying to prioritize my schedule, I schedule my priorities, mm. and that's a big difference. I love it, I learned something recently, consistency over intensity. Mm. And I consistently eat a burger every week, <laughs> every day most. Sure. Was there ever a time that you, you, like, you thought about quitting and just packing it all in? And how did you get through that? Yeah. yeah, great question. And I'll add a little story to it, but I had just been on a 15 day uh, straight travel because towards the end of my door to door time, I was a corporate trainer and I traveled 300 days a year. To 300 go out, days? Yeah, wow. to go out and train in all of these different markets. Wow. And I, I remember getting on a plane and I was going somewhere. I don't even know where I was going, but I put my head up against the window and I started to cry because I could not keep up with the intensity that I was being asked to deliver on what my J-O-B was. Yeah, you were a and business then, junkie, man. Yeah. 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 And then going home at night and still trying to write a book and trying to write curriculum, go through the, through the accreditation Ooh. process. At that point, I was like, this isn't all worth it. And I think the tears almost were liberating. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. it was funny you, It was a tipping point. You knew yeah. it was. As I felt them come down my uh, cheek, I was like, you know what? You've worked too hard to try and throw in the towel and make some excuse like, hey, it didn't work out. Mm. It works for those who work. And so that's what my philosophy was, is get up and go to work. <laughs> so Awesome. Great to see you, brother. Good to yes, see you. Thank so you for joining us. Thanks I so honor much. you, man. This is a big job, and you're thank a big you man. You're going to get it done. I yeah. appreciate it. Yeah. Scott had some fantastic insights into the future of education that left us with some great food for thought. Sitting in the classroom isn't the only way to learn a trade. Some people learn better in a hands-on environment. Don't lose perspective. Be thankful for the things that you have rather than focusing on the things you don't have. Don't be afraid to step outside your comfort zone. Growth only happens when you challenge yourself. Next time, Scott and I sit down with football legend Rudy Rudiger to discuss something that both football players and entrepreneurs can relate to.
overcoming the odds. Rudy's amazing underdog story has inspired people all over the world, and we consider ourselves lucky to sit down and share a burger with him. So join us next time as we talk sports, business, and following your dreams, right here on Business and Burgers. Check out more episodes of Business and Burgers and our B&B blog at our website, businessandburgers.com. And don't forget, visit Business and Burgers on Facebook and give us a big thumbs up. We'll see you next time right here on Business and Burgers.